Can somebody explain to me how self-defense for the Israeli government to have snipers kill innocent civilians at a hospital? And please explain somebody how it's self-defense to do that. Because in, you know, rational people's eyes, snipers killing civilians is a war crime. Beyond the near daily explosions in Gaza is this terrifying sight. Palestinians say they are dragging bodies by ropes so as to avoid Israeli snipers positioned around Nasser Hospital in Han Yunus. The Gaza Health Ministry says several people have been killed by sniper fire this week as the Israeli military, hunting for Hamas, prevents anyone from leaving the area. Inside Nasser, so crucial. Wow, so they're using snipers to kill anybody that tries to leave because they want to force everybody to stay in, inside a, this area and what, either like starve or wait until they're shot by a sniper? This is not something that, you know, the good guys supposedly do, especially, you know, in just self-defense. Uh, lay siege to a hospital and kill innocent civilians trying to leave. Crucial in southern Gaza, the situation is dire. Wastewater flowing onto the floors is just one of the problems. This hospital is suffering from a shortage of everything, even for the simplest of tasks, including painkillers. The hospital lacks the necessary sterile gauze pads used to change and sanitize wounds. It's wild how the Israeli government is supposed to be the good guys, yet their actions are worse than those of their enemies that they are against. Um, they they hate their enemies for like killing kids and stuff and other acts of terrorism, yet the Israeli government has been doing that 10 times worse it doesn't make any sense how uh so many people can still pretend that the israeli government are the good guys while they act worse than hamas meantime more than 130 people have been reported killed by airstrikes around rafa this week among them are eight members of this man's family including his parents and his brother as you can see, we used to sleep next to each other, as it's a small place with no space. But to sleep in one place, the targeting was direct. We found them torn apart. They were directly targeted, killed in cold blood, with no mercy. And in Rafa itself, where more than a million displaced... Wow, eight people killed by an Israeli airstrike. How is that a self defense to kill a whole family of civilians. Like, I guess the Israeli government has the right to defend itself against civilians just living their life in their house. Like, come on. It, it, it's obvious that this is not a war of self-defense that the Israeli government is doing. It is obviously a genocide and ethnic cleansing. Gazans are sheltering, there's fear that Israel is getting ready to launch a ground offensive. The United Nations is sounding the alarm. If this military operation is taking place, the question is, where will the civilian go? There is absolutely no safe place in Rafah anymore. The Israeli military is reportedly drawing... Yeah, and what, Rafah is supposed to be uh, a safe place to to Palestinians that uh, they could go to by the Israeli government if they want to escape uh, the fighting. Uh, and now, what's going on? The Israeli government is planning on attacking it. This has been their plan the entire time. Force all the Palestinians into one location where they can't flee from and then start bombing it. The Israeli government is trying to ethnically cleanse the Palestinians. This is what the Israeli government has been talking about since October 7th, uh, genociding the Palestinian people.
uh, Bibi Netanyahu's talked about it. Several of his prime ministers, uh, prime ministers have talked about it. His um, Secretary of Defense uh, has been speaking about uh, forced relocation. Same with the Minister uh, of Finance. Drawing up a plan both to attack in Rafa and evacuate those civilians. And that plan will be submitted to the government. But will the Israeli government hold off on a ground invasion to allow more time for ceasefire negotiations? Andy Rose.